Well, good evening. It's uh, the 23rd of March still. It's uh, about quarter past nine. 21.15. I've just seen on the news uh, about the lockdown or shutdown. Going to shut the shops. Non-essential stuff. I knew I should have walked up to Wix's today and got me fucking new axe, got myself a new axe. But my old one will have to do. If push comes to shove. Everything's all shutting down now. I just hope we all sort of take a bit of fucking notice now. You know, I will have bits I put on here are on travelling chalk. If you don't know how far to stand apart from each other. Just imagine a dead relative between your lead on the floor. Give me some idea. Make you think. Now let's start acting fucking normal, shall we? Like proper people. I know it's hard. You know, everybody gets it so easy these days, don't they? Well, not everybody, but most people get it easy these days. All your electronic gadgets and your phones and your iPads and iPhones, what have you. I know different, I got iPad and iPhone. But if it all went down, I'm used to not having it as well. I'm just wondering where it's all going to end. They reckon if we go along like Italy, there could be 6,000 dead in the next three weeks. Makes you think that we might have to start fucking looking after ourselves, doesn't it? And taking notice. Well, I'm plotted up here outside the fucking nest. I'm even plot. I'm not even going anywhere in the near Early doors. You know, I got to go out tomorrow. I've got to go to Westbury to get me medicine. And then I shall come back right of the garage and pick myself up some gas. So I got my central eatings topped right up. And that's me parked up then. And the next time I should move will be for food or medical supplies. I don't think I'm going to have to move for food. But the thing is, is her indoors works in a shop. But the thing is, is when she goes and comes home, will there be anything left? But Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, <sighs> Sainsbury's, it's for old age pensioners of disabled and infirmed. I shall have to check up if it says fucking mentally retarded, because I should be able to go there as well. But, um, yeah. Well, I just wish you all luck. Then everything works out for everybody. And nobody does nothing fucking stupid and catches it and puts it in their family or something. We just got batting the fucking ashes now, people. Stay put and let it blow over. But mark my word, it's going to get fucking rough. Yeah. Yeah. And say what they reckon this forty seven year old is the youngest one and a hundred and three the oldest one to die of it, isn't it? But everybody has died of it have got underlying complications. So maybe it's what they say, only the strong will survive. I just hope I fucking catch it, I'm strong enough to fucking deal with it. Yeah. It is worrying times, though. I don't want to be there. Passing on doom and gloom to me. Oh, excuse me. But please, please, please take this fucking seriously. Because it will kill you. It will kill you. My friends, I love you all there, and you all stay, take care. He said, look after each other. 
You know, if you've got to stay away from a loved one, fucking stay away from them. You could keep them alive. I'll speak to you all later. Or not later tonight. You couldn't cope with that, could you? Oh, I don't know. I just don't know what to say. But anyway, you look after each other. Remember, stay classy, stay healthy, and no fighting. Bye-bye.